My dear students, over the years Torah readings, we lived with Moses for about nine months. We know him in various roles, liberator, lawgiver, diplomat, judge, husband, father, brother, son-in-law, fugitive, man of war, man of peace. We know him as a modest man. We know that he had a speech defect. But what we do not know is anything about his appearance. What did he look like? Was he tall or short? Clean-shaven or bearded? Did he resemble Charlton Heston? Of course. Or Christian Bale? Highly unlikely. There is just one thing we know, and we are told of it in our Torah portion, Kitisa. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the second set of tablets, we read that Aaron and all of the Israelites saw that the skin of Moses' face was radiant. His face shone with a dazzling brightness. That is all we know about his appearance. In one of the best-known artistic renditions of Moses, Rembrandt depicts him with a shining face. The image of his luminous face is suggestive. A rabbi writes that he once led a group of visiting children on a tour of his temple sanctuary, during which he spoke about the eternal light that shines over the ark. Shortly after, he received a package of thank you letters from the children. A fifth grader wrote, I really like your explanation of that internal light. This youngster had stumbled upon a great truth. There is such a thing as an internal light, and it is our most important feature. It is the spark of the divine, the light of God's image that is in every person. Moses' radiant face revealed that internal light to an exceptional degree, but we all have it. In all that we do and all that we say, may we let it shine forth. Shabbat Shalom.